Hello, Faye Bryant here with another daily devotion. Look, today we're going to look at 1 Peter 4, 8 that says, Most important of all, continue to show deep love for each other, for love covers a multitude of sins. Let's talk. Peter, the apostle who had denied Christ three times, then received the three-layered forgiveness and calling, the guy who walked on water with Jesus for a few, the fellow who preached a message and had over 3,000 respond to the call to salvation, wrote to believers, homeless because of escalating Roman persecution. He wrote these words to, him, to them. He told them that above all, above all, they must show intense, fervent, unfailing love for one another. The Spirit of God showed him that the community of believers loving one another was of utmost importance. With torturous death looming over them, knowing the love and kindness of fellow believers was paramount. Think about that. I think God spoke this timeless truth through Peter. Timeless because it, it's relevant now. We need that love and kindness of fellow believers today just as much as those to whom Peter wrote. That last part, love covers a multitude of sins, sounds like it's saying love hides a bunch of sins, doesn't it? That's not it at all. Part of loving another person is forgiving their offenses and letting them go. It's refusing to be selfish in the light of those wrongs and choosing to desire the best for that other person. Love. Peter was not saying that love lays a blanket over tons of sins and pretends they're not there. He was saying that the love that God expects of believers, for believers, sees all those multitudes of sin and feels all the hurt and forgives the hurt, scared, angry person who did that. We aren't meant to just stuff down the hurts that come our way. God expects us to confront them. To confront the wrong among other believers and deal with it. That's the most loving thing we can do. Deal with it through forgiveness. Hmm. It's not easy. Love isn't. When we do this, the church the worldwide community of believers remains pure and the light on the hill that Jesus made them. Believers, we have some work to do. We do. We are not collectively loving other believers as we should, as God described us to do. It's time to make some changes. There will always be followers of Jesus who think and act and talk differently than you. Always will be. Some may have tattoos. Some might have piercings. Some will speak in tongues while others don't. We who say we follow Christ must love every single one of them simply because they are family. These who are children of God are our spiritual siblings, period. That's it. Let's get to loving them all the way that we should. Coffee, Bible, journal. Hope you enjoy these daily devotions, and if you want to make sure that you don't miss one, that you'll see them when I post them, subscribe right there and if you would like to see some of the other videos I've done 
hit right over here. Enjoy your day. Seek Christ in everything that you do. Live the way that he's taught us, loving one another. Bye for now.